today I'm going to give you my number one tip for surviving basic training if you're going in 2020 or even 2021. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, I'm going to be going over my number one tip to the most asked question I always get like, hey, what's the best thing I can do to survive basic training? What's the best thing I can do to make it through basic training? And we're going to talk about that and a couple of other tips that I've learned along the way from either my own experience through basic training or you know from other people that I've helped go through basic training or just have gone through basic training in general. Uh, I'm primarily talking about the army, but this can really apply to any you know uh, initial training that you do in other branches of the military but before we get into all of that just some background info on me for those of you that may be new I did four years in the active duty army I was a 68 whiskey I got out as a sergeant uh, back in uh, September 2019 and then I was like okay I'm gonna do the whole you know uh, civilian thing for a little bit and then I joined the reserves in October 2019 so I'm coming up on a full year in the United States Army Reserves so I have that active duty knowledge and that reserve knowledge so feel free to ask me any questions what's Whatsoever that you may have after this video or even during this video the best way to get a hold of me is either in the comment section or even better through my Instagram at Ben underscore Allen 175 it's the best possible place to reach me all right so be sure to hit that up be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it definitely definitely helps out our video pushes it out there for everybody to see so be sure to smash that like button all right show that support if you're new here and you're getting ready to join the military be sure to subscribe to this channel. It is probably the best uh, military related channel out there. Uh, I'm kidding, there's a bunch of other channels out there that are great, but I do cover a lot of information in this channel, uh, whether it's basic training, AIT, OSIT, you know, going as a 68 Whiskey, 11 Bravo, just anything you could probably think of, I have a video on it, so be sure to drop a subscribe and uh, stay tuned for all the content. I go live every Wednesday, and with all of that said, jumping into the topic, guys. So. One of the biggest questions, or one of the most frequent questions I get is, how can I make it through basic training? What's the best thing to do to make it through basic training? And I usually always, always, always tell them that go in there with a mentally tough attitude, you know, a positive mindset. And I know that seems plain, dry, simple, like real cookie cutter answer, but I genuinely mean this because, and what I mean by it is if you go in there thinking like, oh my God, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm gonna fail basic training, this is crazy, like, oh my God, I don't know what I got myself into, I don't wanna do this anymore, I wanna go home. And you're just setting yourself up for failure, right? Some of those are normal emotions to feel, right? Going to basic training, it's it's a big change in your life, you know, whether you're fresh out of high school or, you know, 29 years old, it's a big step. And it's it's normal to feel nervous, right? But start filling your head with those you know, negative thoughts like, oh, I'm gonna fail, you know, somebody like me at my age or somebody, you know, my little life experience I'm not gonna make it through that's only setting you up for failure because once those negative thoughts start taking you know form in your head start taking shape they're gonna start weighing you down whether it's waking up in the morning like oh why am I waking up this early like I'm not even gonna pass basic training there's no point in doing it there's no point in pushing on uh, with training like it's just not for me and then you're just putting yourself in a deeper deeper hole you're just like a guy with a shovel you're just digging 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 until you're so deep in that hole you can't get out and those you know, digging in that hole is the negative thoughts. And so pretty much what I say and what I mean is go in there with the positive mindset, go in there mentally tough, you know, train your brain pretty much. Uh, it also helps to be physically strong as well, you know, whether running, sit-ups, push-ups, you know, even strength training, it's all great. But a lot of it is mental, guys, because the drill sergeants are gonna be there to try and bring you down. They're gonna try and, you know, test you and see how much you can take and take until you just give up. They want to see you give up, but they also wanna see you succeed at the same time, you know what I mean? They're trying to weed out the individuals that you know might not be you know up to the challenge of being in the military right and so when I say go in there with a the positive mindset I mean tell yourself like oh you know what I'm going because I'm gonna help my family out like I need to graduate basic training because it opens up so many more doors for me it opens up more opportunities for me like if I make it through basic training I'll be able to provide for my family you know whether that's your your wife husband kids sister cousin mother father whatever it may be everybody has their own reason right and what I say is always go in there thinking of your why you know why did you join the military 
what is the reason that you know compelled you to want to serve in the military whether it's the marines army navy air force space force coast guard right and just really really think about your why like for me it was because i missed the housing deadline for college right and i didn't want to have to pay and put my family in debt you know to pay for my college and i wanted to make my own way in in my life primarily so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to the military, I'm going to serve, I'm going to get the benefits, I'm going to put myself through school, and that's what I'm going to do. And so, you know, that, that was my why. And I remember the basic training, like, well, if you fail out of basic training, you're not going to be able to pay for your college, you're not going to be able to pay for your education, you're not going to be able to do all of this stuff that you said you were going to do. And so I just stayed focused on that one thing, right? And yours is going to be different, right? Whether it's supporting your family, you know, giving back to your community, or just to prove something to yourself, or to even serve your country, right? And you got to remember, like, yes, this is what I'm doing. And that's just one of the things that you can do to stay, you know, mentally motivated, mentally positive. Another thing is you can tell yourself, like, you know what, I've survived worse. Whether you did, like, you know, firefighting, you were an EMT, or you were a construction worker, you know. To me, honestly, like, I did football from sixth grade to junior year. And our off-season conditioning program, to me, uh, personally, was hard harder than basic training in terms of the physical stuff we had to do and our coaches were relentless because there was really no limitations on our coaches in basic training the drill sergeants can only make you do a certain number of repetitions there's loopholes around that obviously but in football class you know off season they, they could literally make you do push-ups until you could not go anymore and still make you go and to me that was harder and when I was in my first shark attack in basic training I was like oh my god like I had a smirk on my face because I was excited I was like you know what hey, I'm I'm ready for this like my my high school football program put me through this like it was way worse like people were getting smoked doing push-ups I'm like you know I can do that and the way I thought about getting smoked wasn't a negative one people are like oh no I have to do push-ups like I messed up that means I'm I'm wrong or I'm, you know they're just correcting me with you know physical exercise and a lot of people get put down because of that they're like oh I had to do push-ups or oh push-ups again I looked at it as yes more push-ups I'm getting stronger I was probably able to do the most push-ups in my life ever at basic training because we just constantly, constantly did push-ups. Even for things we really didn't mess up on, we still did push-ups. And I didn't look at it as a negative thing. I looked at it as me getting stronger physically. So that's one of the things you all can do as well. And that all ties in to going in there with a positive mindset, thinking that, okay, you know, this is a negative punishment that I'm doing push-ups and you can change that around and like, you know what, this isn't so bad. I'm getting stronger. The next time I do push-ups, it's gonna be easier. And the next time I have to do an event in basic training that requires strength or you know endurance like I'm gonna be better for it I'm gonna be able to help my buddies to my left to my right you know to my back front everything guys and so that was my mentality on it and that's because I've always I've always looked in terms of how can I turn the situation around how can I make this situation work for me uh, and that to me that's one of the best mindsets you can have you know you got to be able to adapt and overcome anything that's thrown at you and you just got to be goal oriented and attack and obtain those goals I, I even have that attack and obtain your goals saying in my channel banner just because i firmly believe in that guys you got to set a goal and you have to attack it if it's to graduate basic training if it's to you know go to osid become a 68 whiskey become an infantryman you know all that stuff you really really have to go in there knowing that that's what you signed up to do and that's what you're going to do you know what i mean because a lot of people sign up and they're like, oh, I hate this already. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I just want to get out of here. And they, they failed. They fell out because they're not motivated anymore. They're not willing to chase the dream that they had once they get there because they realize it's either too hard or they realize it wasn't what they expected it to be. But in basic training, guys, like that's such a small time period of your, your time in the military. Like There's going to be so many other times in your military career. And basic training is just a small little fraction. And one of the biggest things that our drill sergeants told us when we were going through basic training is greater and lesser soldiers have made it through before you. And I really thought about this when I was in there because I was like, okay, well, obviously greater people than me have made it through basic training, right? Because they're better than me. Then of course they're going to make it through. But then lesser people, and it, it's true, guys, lesser people than you are going to have graduated basic training. I know there's some people that I went to basic training with and I looked and I'm like, there's no way this guy graduated. There's no way he graduated. Like, they did nothing. They were like shit bags. They didn't care. They didn't want to be there. Like, basic training is, is designed to push you through, more or less. The only time they kick you out of basic training is if you really, really mess up or you get injured. And even then, they'll sometimes just recycle you to the beginning of another basic training. 
And, you know, I don't think they should do that. I think they should, you know, kick out the bad apples if they either fail events, you know, like twice, because you do get to redo an event if you fail it uh, most of the time at basic training, because they want you to pass. They want you to succeed. They're there to build you up and send you off to your AIT and your unit. Um, but you know, sometimes that isn't the best thing. But overall, I think if you just go to basic training thinking, you know what, I got this, you remember your why, you go into the positive mentality and you just remind yourself what it is that you're doing at basic training, overall you're gonna be good. And I've had people go to basic training, come back to my live streams or hit me up on Instagram, like, you know what, hey, you were right, like just definitely keeping a positive mindset, definitely, definitely helped me out and I'm really glad I did that. Especially now, guys, especially in 2020 or 2021, like there's a whole lot of brand new stuff going on in basic training, whether it's COVID, right? Whether it's no more shark attacks, whether it's the first 100 yards, whether it's the new yellow phase they put into basic basic training like everything uh, is coming into effect these things are taking a more mental toll on soldiers as they go through because you might have to be quarantined because you might have COVID or uh, somebody that's in basic training might have COVID so it changes the whole system no more shark attacks they're doing something different people are looking forward to that there's a lot of brand new stressors that a bunch of people in the military going through basic training haven't experienced yet because it's so brand new and it's ever changing and so you have to really really be mentally strong it helps to be physically strong obviously because you're and you're gonna do your push-ups all that fun stuff but being mentally strong in this time frame right now whether it's you know you know no more shark attack yellow phase the first 100 yards all these new things in basic training they're gonna be throwing you for a loop they're gonna be testing your patience and I promise you the military will continue to do that throughout your career is test your patience like it's, it's a game of hurry up and wait pretty much but once you realize that once you realize like hey once I get through this I'm gonna be good to go so keep that in mind and I'll leave you with this. This is one more thing that I learned in basic training is if you break up your day into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it goes by a lot faster, right? Because if you go, say you wake up, you do your PT, you hit breakfast, once breakfast is over, like, wow, I finished a third of my day already. That's awesome. Now I just got to work to lunch. And so if you do that, you do your training, you get to lunch, lunch is over, like, wow, I'm already, I'm already like through this. And then you finally, you go through from lunch to dinner, you have dinner, you're going back, you may get smoked for something, who knows, you go to the bay and you have some drill starting time. And then it's like, okay, hey, lights out, time for bed. And your day just goes by fast because you're breaking it down into segments. That really, really helped me. So keep that in mind, guys. And with that, uh, that's pretty much it. That's my advice for basic training in general. It doesn't matter the time period. I, I think that these tips, tricks go hand in hand all the time, right? Mentally positive, that, that's the number one thing, guys. Go in there knowing that you're going to crush it, knowing that you're going to make basic training your bitch pretty much. And you're going to show up, show out, and go home and graduate and do all that fun stuff that you said you were going to do. Whether it was to support your family, you know, get your education, or just anything in general that, you know, you may have wanted to do by going through the military. And I'll leave you with that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, hit me up on my Instagram at to Ben underscore Allen 175, best possible place to reach me. I promise you, be sure to like this video if you took anything away. If you want more motivational videos as well, such as this one, uh, I thought it was motivational, so maybe you guys did too. Uh, drop in the comment, just more motivational videos. I can help you out make those as well. And subscribe to this channel if you're brand new. I go live every Wednesday, at least I try to, and I post videos almost every single week. I may have a couple things come up where I post the other week, but hey, I try to post that content for you guys. And like I was talking about with No More Shark Attack, Yellow Phase, and also the first 100 yards, I have videos talking about those specifically. So if you want more information on those and get a better understanding and a better overview of how that's changing and how that's been implemented, be sure to click. They'll be somewhere here on the screen. Check them out. Show that love. And uh, share this channel with your friends who are going to basic training. Like, yo, check this guy out. He's got some dope-ass content. Let's make it happen. Uh, but thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate you. Stay strong. Stay mentally focused. Wish you all the best. Thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this. I'll see you on the next one. Later.